Hi, I'm the Black Rose, and welcome to my channel. We are looking at the Mikhail Kristoff. Um, yeah, it's the premium tier 8 Russian cruiser. The most expensive ship in the world of warships, I believe. Right, we move on from that. <laughs> um, what we're looking at, survivability. We got 40,700 hit points as opposed to the other premium tier 8, the Japanese one, the Atago. 40,100. Nice. Armour, 15 to 100 millimeters. So I'll go there. We got 58 to 127, so it's better armed. And Citadel is 58 to 127. As opposed to Gustav, this will go. Sisters 23 to 100, so Natargo's a lot better armoured. Artillery, we have got 152mm guns, and we've got 4 times 3. 1, 2, 3. Let's have a look at them. Sorry. Two totes at the front, two at the rear. So it's it. What I like to think is a nice, nicely balanced ship. Secondary armor, we've got 100 millimeter, six times two, 100 millimeter. And the main battery firing range is 19.1. Stock, it is 15.9. It's not very good at all. But I'll explain how I got up to 19.1 in a tick. We do have torpedoes. Two times five launchers set slightly to the stern, not exactly in the middle, but slightly to the stern. Nice to have, just got a range of eight kilometers. Tango does have torpedoes, it's got four times four, six, ten. Let's have a look at these bad boys located in the side, and it's got on both sides as well so it's got it's got a lot more torps to launch a lot more flexible than uh, Mikhail and the artillery on this one is 203 millimeter guns opposed to the 152 it's obviously a slower rate of fire but it's got five times two so one two let's have a look And two guns in each turret, so three turrets there forward, and two turrets at the back. Now, the trouble is, right here we are. This one is like a uh, bit of a pain, you have to really get broadside on to actually use that one. Secondary armament is 127 millimeter guns. And this main point, main battery firing range is 15.8. Okay. Back to the mic. mic. So, talked about air defense. Air defense in this one is 16 times 2, 37 mils. And the 100 millimeter guns act as anti aircraft as well. There we go, we've got 28 times 1, 125, mm -hmm. not that great. And the 127s act as anti-aircraft as well. Movability, maximum speed 35.5 knots, 790 and 6.5. The Mickey, slightly slower. Slightly tighter turning circle and the same rudder shift time. Concealment on my Mikhail Gustav is surface detectability range 13 kilometers, 10.7 on the Otago, so doing a lot better there. 
All right, let's talk about this one a wee bit more. Yeah, it's a very expensive ship. It's the most expensive ship, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I got it because I wanted another premium Russian cruiser. And it's the only reason. I, I wanted uh, a crew, um, a captain trainer. Now I'm a captain. Talk about my captain. He's a level four captain, so he's got advanced fire and training, 20% fire range with caliber up to 155. The guns on this ship are 152, so that's why I've got the extended firing range. As you can see, everything else is pretty basic. Uh, superintendent, expert marksman, and last one, basic firing training. Now modules I've had have on this ship. My upgrades. I recently swapped out the target acquisition system, which helps with accuracy. Uh, obviously, target acquisition. Blah blah blah. Okay, so it really helps with concealment. But I got the concealment system, which not down my detectability by 10% if I had the choice I would have both but this one actually doesn't help sorry it doesn't help with concealment it helps with the accuracy of the guns pure, purely and simply okay so I've increased it the concealment system because eventually what I want to do sorry as you can see I've got main battery mod 1 and 2 damage control 1 and 2 and that's my luxury item. What I eventually want to do with my skipper is actually get concealment, concealment expert. So it's minus twelve percent de de detectability of cruisers, which would really make this a stealthy wee bugger. I think I might be able to do invisible firing with this like a fully upgraded with all the bells and whistles but at the moment I've got a surface detectability range of 13 let me quickly check that sorry two ticks if I was to get that commander skill it would knock down my surface detectability back to about 11 and a half kilometers whereas my artillery has 19.1 kilometers so you're talking about seven kilometers difference now when you fire these guns I think you give yourself away to five kilometers oh I might be able to get away with it but anyway this battle I'm about to show you is a battle that uh, first battle I did after I made the changes to detectability and this kind of thing and it's my best battle actually in this ship um, I don't know yet if it's due to the changes I made but um, we'll see we'll see as time goes on um, the only other thing I want to show you in exterior I do have the um, paint which doesn't help with detectability but minus 4% uh, fire and accu accuracy of the enemy and I'll get extra 50% XP earned in the battle which is nice anyway that's enough talk let's go and have a look at this um, battle okay here we go Now, I figure I'm going to go over and give our Atlanta there some support. Behind me, we have the Amagi. Over there, we got the new Mex. They're the closest ones to me so far. So, I thought I'd just cruise over and go see the Atlanta. Now, as I said before, this is the best game for me in this ship so far um, 
set for we had an admiral on our team the guy in the new mexico yeah he thought he was an admiral how you do get games like this every once in a while where someone thinks they're so much better than you and nine times out of ten turns out that they're not But you'd be happy to know, even though I was well, very drunk at this uh, time this battle took place, I didn't respond to him. Nice looking ship, this. Anyway, this is the first game, once again, after I mucked about with the camouflage and modules and skipper a wee bit. And not finished with it yet. I'm st still not confident actually playing it. Now, the Atlantis just going straight past me. He's heading towards the rest of the fleet and I'm out here on a limb where he was. He isn't a good place to be by yourself. Never a good idea to go by yourself anywhere. Especially in this game. So in a minute I'm going to kind of like turn it around. and basically use the island in C3 as cover for the first half of this game and there we go he wants me to go to E3 what by myself am I that stupid I'm not going over there if you look at the minimap uh, um, battleships just popped up been spotted don't know what it is but I'm not going over there. I don't. We don't know what else is over there. What idiot would want to go over there? So I'm just moving back around, heading back towards our fleet. Going to use this island to my advantage. Do love the right of fire of these guns. Here we go. It was an Amagi. This guy wanted me to go off to an Amagi. See, even our DD is getting the hell out. He's not stupid, he's running away. Oh, what else we got? I hope it's just popped up. Exactly where this guy wanted me to go. So I would have been facing it. An Amagi and an Oba by myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing, mate. Oh, look, an Undertargo. There's three. There's three, and you're sailing straight into them. Yeah, okay, Admiral. I'm going to give some lab to the Amagi, I think. Da -da -da, spin it around. Plan to go out the other end of the island. Bit shaky this replay. First salvo, no, oh, got some hits. Second salvo, got some four more hits. And a third salvo, four more hits. That's pretty consistent. Try and focus on this Atlanta for a bit. He's going to be broadside on. Give him the full Monty. 
how do you like those apples? Six hits, one fire. Alright. Time to help the Admiral a wee bit for what it's worth. But as I said, he's got three of them on. And down at F2, there's a, another New Mexico. Don't worry about the torpedoes, they're too far away. Oh, we're all camping idiots, apparently. And we're team of knobs. Noobs, sorry. Well, we didn't just die, mate. You're the second one dead. Who's the noob now? Oh, look at that. Nice citadel. No, it's just that the comments of this guy is just ridiculous. Uninstall all noobs. Oh, only one hit. Oh, what am I shooting at now? That's better. Oh, useless. He's still burning. And that should help him along. Gotcha. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Now, as I said, there's a new mix right in front of me. I'm not going to face him right now. Still pretty close. Give him a few salvos. Oh, look at that. Black Rose Golden Noob. Isn't that nice? I'm special. My mummy always told me I was special. Now I know it to be true. Dick. As I said, firing into an island. <laughs> Didn't sink it, though. Right. Atlantis there. Let's get rid of him. And they're pretty tight groupings. That was eight hits. That's good. I think he's going to be dead if even four more rounds to get there. Seven hits. And he's gone. Not my kill, though. But it doesn't matter. Now for the New Mexico. It's 14 kilometers away. I'm going to drop off his radar in a minute. And he's going to drop off mine. And what I plan to do is use this island to get closer to him. Even though we got the numbers, I, I want to get in there. And I want to put some damage into him before the game ends. And that's my plan, basically. Use this island, get closer. So maybe I might get a chance to use my torps. And give him some love that way. I know it's dangerous going up against a battleship. Maybe it's a tier 6 on a tier 8. It doesn't make any difference at all. Now with hindsight, which is always 2020. Just as I was reaching the corner of this island. I should have dropped my speed down. Popped some smoke. And maybe bought myself a wee bit of time to get a little bit closer before I started to open up. But as I said, hindsight is 2020. 
and cunt as close as I possibly dare to this island. There you go. Use an AP. You want a couple of bounces there. My secondary is open up. I'm thinking about using my torps right now. But new. And let's send out the love. Just some good damage there. Four out of the five torps hit. Got some bounce here, those bounces. Yahoo! And just as this guy is about to die. He sends out one good broadside. You watch. There we go. Look at my hit points just disappear. Wow, that's why you don't go broadside onto battleships. But there we go. The last bit of damage and suffice it to say I never get a chance to actually fire a shot at this DD so for me the game is over. Let's have a look at the end slates. Right, end slates, here we go. Um, target is 127, pretty good. With torpedoes 4, incapacitations 5, destroyed 2, set on fire 5, cause flooding 4 and hits to citadel is five so this once again this is um, a cult mission so 149,649 is pretty good um, this is first hit of the day as well <laughs> 1,344 and 68 um, for experience team score let's have a look let's see how we did and I came top by a long margin Maybe I found the secret for this particular um, cruiser. But I am very, very happy with that. Very happy with that. Right. Check out now. Togo, New Mexico. Yay. AP shells. Wi Fi 300 overall. So AP shell hits is 35,400, something. HE is 13,700. Fire set counts for 6,200. Plugin is just uh, 390. Torpedoes launch 4, 5 hits for 34,000. That was well worth the big hit I took. Um, Secondary shells 95 29 hit for 837. I'm very happy with that. I'm extremely happy with that. I've struggled with this ship, but um, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, this is Black Rose. You take it easy, and I will see you on land, sea, on air. Be good. Bye.